little bit cloudy today. We have some big rainfall coming tomorrow. In case anybody's wondering what the weather report here in Maple Ridge, Canada, BC. I've got four horses out at the moment. <clears throat> Everybody was out, but these four are sort of remaining after the uh, earlier ones that were out earlier went back in. And they have been rather interesting, pairing off separately for the most part. We've got Mr. Wild and Roni over here. Gracie, Little Miss here. And they've kind of been going a little bit together. And then I just noticed that Gracie's hanging off the edge of the gate. <laughs> like she'd like to be somewhere else. Now, a lot of the times, she hangs out in this corner to be with Luke if he's been put away. And this is where she is. But what are you doing? Hey, looking rather dirty. Hello, Gracie. She's um, truly loving her ear rubbings lately. There's a shake. She uh, has, has uh, as she does, she kind of fits and spurts, is it? Where horses kind of get something done and then go a little bit without, and then poof, something else gets done. This little thing is being fantastic. Training is coming along really well. We had a little bit of a milestone today, I guess. She says, yep, we did. Yep. So I'll uh, I'll try to show you guys what that's all about <clears throat> soon. And then there's these two. Just sort of quiet, quiet sparrers. And then look at them now. I come up. Uh-oh, here he comes. What's happening? in preparation for all the rain that comes in. I actually had to, or we had to dig out these corners a little bit here. Because um, the rain just comes down, or the sand just comes down when it, when it rains. Still wet. Got some rain this morning. Last night. What's up, Roni? If you're new here, this is Roni. He's a uh, resident quarter horse. Nine years old, I believe. And Mr. Wild, who is four, going on five soon. He's coming up on his one year anniversary here. So that's cool. And Gracie, who is our Arabian, resident Arabian, is <laughs> just hanging out at the back fence. It seems. What are you doing? Do you need to go back? Should I put you back? Like the company sucks. Get that guy out here. Luke is a real ladies' man today. That's Luke. He's my boy. And uh, he, when he was out, he was playing with everybody. He was very busy, so I couldn't get any video. But uh, I thought I would uh, get a little bit now. We'll talk about a couple things. Visit the horses a smidge. And then... Uh, Got a new horse coming, so that's exciting. You did fantastic. I'm very proud of you today. Yes, I'm covered in your hair and everything. Shedding like crazy, but look at this gorgeous coat. Just beautiful. Just fantastic. So, and I'm Graham. I run this place, Stable Horse Training, here in Maple Ridge, as I said, Canada. I'll talk just a smidge about the paddock. I had to rebuild. And then I'll give a little bit of information about the new horse that I was able to find out. Owner's fantastic. She has said she's more than happy that she's featured here on the channel, which is very cool. I mean, I haven't had anybody say no, um, but it's always nice when people are excited. They, they think, oh, I can't wait to see my horse. Okay, so I don't know if anybody remembers, but just a couple videos back, I showed this paddock and it was in dire straits. We brought in five loads of this crusher dust it's called and it is a fine gravel that packs down really really well and you might be thinking what's with all the mats 
Well, you can try to roll this stuff out and tamp it down and all kinds of stuff because it's when you just put it in, it's kind of squishy, you see. And you can roll it and try to tamp it and stuff like that. But I can tell you without a doubt, with pure experience, that mats. So this area was the most fixed. There's like three or four holes and it was thin. So five gatorfuls of this stuff. But putting these mats down and then when the mats are down, the horses just walk on them a lot. So it's like a constant uh, pressure with never release because the mats are pretty heavy too. They're about a hundred pounds a piece. And so what that'll do is that it will, it will tap it down really, really hard relatively hard until it turns into this. It's just nice solid ground. And nice solid ground is very important. I get quite a few newer folks that come in and say, how come your horses aren't on grass and dirt? And I can tell you from experience um, that <laughs> if we had grass and dirt and the horses were on it, there'd be no grass and it would just be straight mud. So it's no good. Check out the fish. Isn't that cool? I don't know how close we can get. Let's see if I can get a little bit more in there. These are just regular goldfish, if anybody's wondering. Yeah. And uh, you just buy them at the store. You buy them for 25 cents a piece, chuck them in and they do great. But anyways, the important thing to think about is a horse's legs and feet where they live. So it must be able to be cleaned Right? It must not have mud or standing water. That should run off if possible. And uh, if they do happen to dig, like this spot here is a little bit sus suspect. A little bit suspect. I'm looking at it and I'm thinking, uh oh, hang on, I missed the spot. You can see here. Oh yeah. See, so I still gotta fix that a bit. But that's cloth. There's cloth underneath there. And that's vital as well. So this is kind of like a, a an FYI, I guess, to everybody that asks about the paddocks, asks about why the horses aren't standing around on dirty dirt, dirt and grass all the time. Quite literally, I believe the horses that are standing out in mud and dirt and, and, and wet conditions that never come out of those wet conditions or very rarely come out or more often are in those conditions have a lot of hoof and foot problems. So this is fantastic. And if anybody's worried about the horses wearing down their feet too fast on this kind of thing, it just doesn't happen. I mean, it's rare, actually. I could say it's rare, like maybe 1% of horses, something, some horse that might have a problem, um, some horse that maybe pace too much or something like that. But overall, general, just being a horse and normal, it just doesn't happen. And in fact, uh, the, the way that this sort of sands down their feet uh, allows me to see how to trim their feet. And I talk about that if you're interested in that kind of thing. I've done a course, I'll link it, or it is linked in the description. But essentially by having the wear pattern that comes from being on abrasive ground and plenty of horses uh, live just fine out in the deserts and stuff like that in the dry countries, uh, middle America kind of idea where they're out and they're just running around on rocks and sticks and, and sand and harder ground and stuff like that. They wear their feet down naturally, but our horses don't get that much exercise. So they have to wear them down on the ground that we provide. And then when they do wear them out in a particular pattern, it will give us an idea of how to dress the rest of the foot. So it's super handy compared to a horse that is on soft ground that won't wear their feet down. And instead they'll kind of splat outwards. So. Anyhow, let's go say hi to the horses one more time. We've come all the way back up. Um, and look at that, Little Miss and Gracie are having a little chit chat. So let's go say hello again. But I really wanted to introduce that. And then the, uh, actually on our way down, I'll talk about the, the next horse that's coming in. It's going in the second paddock. And so that's that's been sitting empty, I guess, like clean, cleaned and empty for a couple days now. And when it rains, it'll kind of clean and wash it. It'll be really nice and ready for the next horse, who is also a BC Wildie, seven years old, and has come supposedly from the Yukon area. So a little farther north than our other two Wildies that are here. Uh, that Wildie has come more from the east 
and he came more from the northeast, not too far, about three hours away, and her about five, five to six hours away to the east. So three different BC wallabies from three different locations. How are you guys doing? Hanging around back here. Are you chewing on the post a little bit? It looks like it. This looks freshly chewed. Hmm. Who's the culprit? Huh? Who gets a punch in the nose? Bam. Bam. La 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 la. Anyhow, so uh, seven years old, totally different area. And uh, she hasn't had any real handling other than the last uh, I think about six months or so, just the very basics of being uh, handled by humans. A little bit of uh, halter training and leading, so she's a little farther ahead in the curve than the other two who came here, which I've shown uh, haltering and leading and training practice with this guy, who is now absolutely fantastic. Right, Mr. Fantastic? <laughs> and her who else? Oh, see, look, there's our culprit. Hey, stop chewing on the fence. Oh, she's in big trouble. Look at my poor post. Oh. Okay, so she ran off. We got her off of the post. She left the post and now she's waited. Here's where we say, thanks for stopping chewing on the post. Sorry I had to freak you out a little, but I like my posts an awful lot. <laughs> stop chewing on them. Uh, and if anybody, I have to hear anybody say, well, your horses are just hungry. They're not. Trust me. They get very, 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 very well fed. They're just nibblers. So the other thing about her is, uh, is, is she's going to need a, uh, a good trim, just like her. She's never been trimmed in her life. I've trimmed her, I think, five or six times now. So her feet are coming along nicely. And uh, the same thing is going to happen for the new one. Now, somebody had mentioned that Roni doesn't like her. And then they said, well, is it because Lena's in? And it is actually because Lena's in. He actually quite likes her, as far as I've generally been able to see. And they do quite well. He's a very, very gentle soul. As long as he doesn't have to do anything else, like manage Lena's. What? what do you want? You should go on the other side of me. Like, right there. And see, if I stand in the way a little bit, you can see this is what Roni does. He's just... See, he's quite gentle and kind. Even Gracie's quiet. It's about to change. <laughs> Neighbor's dog is going crazy. Something. A lot of deer around lately. A lot of deer. Oh. Did you just get yelled at? Because you walked away from me. Relax, buddy. It's a safe place. So that's it. I thought I would just bring you guys along a little bit on a couple items. Talk about paddocks a little bit. Cover a few items that people have been asking uh, repeatedly. <laughs> Hopefully that makes sense. Hopefully it's understandable. And uh, I think I'm just going to kind of hang out with these guys a little bit and then put them away. Ooh, Gracie says I'm irritated. It's interesting because there are times when these two get along absolutely wonderful. And then there's today. <laughs> she just looks a little grumpier than usual. Here comes Roy. He has been really really interesting um and it was a valid question it was a valid question is roni not like her or something like that and uh because he's always chasing her off of wherever lena was but uh when lena's not in here he's 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 quite the keener like say oh. gracie yelled a little there she said not comfortable whatever's going on over there knock it off and the dog Okay, that's it for now. Hopefully that's been interesting. If you have any questions, let me know anytime. And I will see you guys in the next one. Right? Nod your head. He did mumble a little. <laughs>